Welcome to Heather Cook. I'm gonna show you how to make the best fucking French toast you've ever had. French toast was the first thing I ever learned how to make when I was about seven years old and I make it almost every weekend. But this is the best way to, to maximize flavor and texture. I'm gonna start by making the custard. The custard is what your bread sits in before you cook it. I'm gonna break four eggs into this bowl. And French toast is a wonderful way to use up day old bread that you have in your house. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk about two tablespoons of milk in with the eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of cinnamon. If you really like cinnamon flavor, you can add a lot. And you wanna make sure to whisk this thoroughly. And this is the custard. This is the part that the bread is going to soak in. Now, we're gonna cut the bread and let it soak in this. Just make sure that it sits long enough to soak through. You, wanna, you don't want any part of that bread to be dry. Now this recipe, ensures that your crust of your French toast gets really, really crispy, and then the inside is really soft and gooey. So this is looking nice and uniform. So now I'm going to cut some bread. I like to cut my bread about an inch and a half. You can do thicker than that, it's just harder to get it to soak through. I'm gonna make two pieces, this is about, about an inch, inch and a half, and we're gonna put them in a shallow baking dish. And we're gonna pour the custard over them and just make sure that they get soaked through on all sides. And like I said, if you were doing this the night before, cover this with foil, just put it in the fridge and, and let it soak. So I'm just gonna give this another minute. We're gonna heat some butter. The key to really good French toast is of course lots of butter. So I like to do mine in a cast iron. This one's nice and hot. I'm putting three tablespoons in. The butter helps get that crust. The nice thing about challah bread, which is what we're using and which is what I always recommend using, challah or brioche, is it's really soft and fluffy so the egg custard goes through it easily. You can use other bread. I've used every kind of bread, leftover baguette, leftover whole wheat, but if you're really gonna do it the right way, use brioche or challah. So you wanna drip the extra custard off and let it sear in that pan. This is enough to make enough for, for four or five people. I could continue to use this custard until it runs out. And uh, you wanna make sure if you're buying groceries to make French toast, you, you need to get yourself some Vermont maple syrup because it's just not the same without maple syrup. And since my pan's pretty small, I'm just gonna make two right now. Yeah, you want that sizzle. Like I always say, you know when your pan's hot enough when you hear that sizzle. So we're gonna let these cook on both sides, about two, two or three minutes per side. We'll check on them. Oh yeah, see, it's starting to get that nice brown. And I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. This is the special final step in the perfect French toast recipe. After I flip this, we're gonna put it in the oven for about seven minutes at 400 degrees. That's gonna give it this beautiful crust and it's gonna kind of expand the custard in it. And it's just, epic French toast. The oven step also enables you to cut your bread really, really thick if you want to make it even thicker than this because it'll make sure that it cooks through all the way. So this one's looking nice and brown. Ooh, see, I'm telling you, the cast iron is always the way to do this. So we'll let it cook on that side for about a minute. But since we're gonna put it in the oven in the same cast iron, it's gonna take all that heat that that pan already has into the oven with it. So it's gonna be super hot and crusty. So we can go ahead and just put it in the oven now. So preheated my oven. Here we go. We'll check on it in about seven minutes and then We'll serve it with some berries and some butter and Vermont maple syrup. And it's just gonna be the best fucking French toast you've ever had. So my French toast has been in the 400 degree oven for seven minutes. We're gonna go check on it, see how it looks. It smells so good. 
It's darker, it kind of expanded from the heat. So we'll go ahead and serve this with some berries. Yum. I like to put some confectioner sugar on there just to give it a little added sweetness. Some butter. And of course, it's just not brunch without Vermont maple syrup. Mmm. Enjoy.